Welcome to ckkmobile.com. It's now time for hacking a bit with S5 and uh, of course like always we start by removing the battery. So now I will be showing you uh, options for upgrading the hard drive uh, to SSD and uh, possibilities of uh, adding the 3G modem or non-3G versions. So first up of course opening the device. So when you remove the battery you can see that there is some screw holes over there and they are actually covered with this tiny little little uh, uh, soft thing. So you have to first take those out with a small screwdriver or similar and then just open all the screws. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. That's easy. Then you just have to start opening the device and you should start it from the corner and you should bend it with a nail or something plastic this way so you bend the screen part away from the main part like this then you go through the device click by click and again by opening this and then checking the clicks actually you can again see the great quality on the on the build of, of the S5 so that's a good thing and now when you have all the clicks open be careful don't open it fully as there is actually one cable and that cable is holding the vibrator motor on the back cover so don't bring it too much much off so now we have access to device itself and uh, what you can see is that uh, this module I have here is the 3G version so there is the 3G modem and here is the SSD actually mine is taped because uh, this is prototype SSD and uh, Vili do doesn't want want to show that yet so as this may not be on the device so I will keep it hidden but as you can see it's the half mini ZIF SSD so this is how uh, the 3G version looks from the start and from here you can see this small PCB with four screws and the SIM SIM card slider, uh, reader and a, a thin cable to the board and you don't get this one with the hard drive version so you can forget that also of course you don't get the 3G modem or the connector here but let's first move the, move the SSD away so we have a bit more room here and then the 3G modem so you can see the difference on this and the hard drive version so on the hard drive version it's empty like this and the hard drive is here like this so now my version already has the mini PCI Ex Express uh, connector which you can see over there that's it so if you want to add 3G on your device you have to actually solder that that uh, connector there and that's not the easiest job but it's possible and uh, the the stupidest part is that actually there is this metal frame on the back so you can't access the the uh, the pins on the back if you don't remove it but you don't need to actually solder those you just need to check that they are on online and solder the sides and and the front pins because those are the ones that uh, that we we need to have in and uh, now as you don't get the get the sim card reader you could of course made make this by yourself but again that's not the easy job if someone wants to have more pictures of it I can send it but totally different than just soldering the 3G modem so let's forget it so you solder this connector it is 5.6 millimeters high so you can easily buy these uh, pr from different places even on eBay you can get these but it needs to be higher than 5 millimeters not uh, higher than that uh, 5.6 so you solder this there but that's not all as you have to actually of course buy the 3G modem and if you can't make the ZIF, uh, uh, SIM card reader like this 
you have to buy the one with the SIM card reader. So this is the Novatel uh, uh, 850D and the best for modding is that it has the SIM card reader. So on many of my other devices I have used this because it's like actually the easiest way to do it. So after you have soldered the PCI Express connector you will have to mount this of course here like this and uh, you imme imme immediately see that the reader will actually extend from there so you have to also cut a hole to this metal plate and to this metal plate or remove them but I wouldn't suggest removing because they are also acting like a heat shield for the battery so quite a, a, a big job but possible fully possible so then you have access to SIM card by removing the battery not like this uh, original version but still again possible then the next thing is the antenna and uh, Vilip is using on, on this 3G version, they are using the digital TV antenna as the 3G antenna, so you could do that too. So you, you ne would need to solder a small wire and solder that to the connector connectors for the antenna. Or straight to the antenna if you will. So again possible, but not the easiest thing. So modifying uh, Vilip S5 for 3G use is totally possible and it will work but it's not that easy. Of course, if you don't want to solder this uh, uh, PCI Express cable, you can also solder uh, uh, the, the USB and the power pin straight to the card. I have uh, on my other post showing the, the uh, Dell Mini 9, I've shown how to do it, so you can check that. I will put the link to my site, so you can easily follow those instructions. That way you, can, you need only solder four cables to make it work. So that's not that bad okay so that was 3G modifications for S5 and uh, now if you have bought the, the hard drive version of course the 3G version is not even available yet uh, I've heard that it might be soon in Hong Kong but I have no no uh, confirmation about that or, or, or anything else but if you now have, have the hard drive version you can as uh, easily swap it to SSD. You can use anything that has a, a ZIF connector and it, it needs to be 5 millimeters thick. So you cannot upgrade uh, 9 or 8 millimeter drives to VLIB. They are too big. There's no room. So 5 millimeter ZIF connected SSDs and hard drives. There are some hard drives which are 5 millimeters and I believe their maximum size is like, like 80 gigs. So you could upgrade even the hard drive. And as you can see it's pretty easy. But adding the 3G is not that easy. So of course then when you have an antenna cable, the modem there, hole in the in the in the metal plates, then it's just a, a matter of, of installing the dri drivers and so on. Shouldn't be that hard, but uh, of course there are always always uh, uh, things to consider because you will lose your warranty if you if you start soldering there but again I was asked asked to show this so here you go 3G possible swapping to bigger hard drive uh, or, or, uh, or faster SSD and totally possible and actually quite easy so opening Billy S5 is, is quite easy okay that was all for now more stuff coming later and uh, next time something else. Thank you. Bye.